Hi, my name is Elsie, and this is going to be a meditation. Um, a lot of influences for this meditation. I actually have a bunch of crystals in front of me. Um, and the main three are citrine, clear quartz, and amethyst. So I'm looking for this meditation to be something along the lines of um, inviting, inviting our own sense of, you know, what we're called to, what kind of action we are, we are called to um, entertain and, and get ourselves involved in in this time. Many of us have a lot of time on our hands, right? Some of us don't. Some of us are on the front lines doing the work and the service that's really keeping this world uh, going right now. But some of us, many of us who are inside are struggling with this, right? What do I do? How do I act on um, what's calling from within? How do I tap into that? Um, and where do I go from there? So I want to use solar plexus energy connected to the citrine crystal. If you don't have any crystals, that's okay. Um, I'm going to have them here. So they'll be here and they'll, the energy of the crystals will be with you as you watch this video. So please um, know that you can tap into that with me. And then um, quartz, really just tapping into, you know, finding focus, finding clarity within whatever messages um, the, the doing element of your body, the fire element of the body might be asking you to, uh, to go after using clear quartz today to kind of help us be, be clear and focused in, in whatever intention we decide to jump onto. Clear quartz also has a really um, beautiful assist when it comes to um, spiritual development. So it, it's really helpful with um, developing spiritually. Yeah, and then the, the last one I have, I just have one, is amethyst. Amethyst is a natural stress reliever. It helps encourage inner strength. It's also good for spiritual growth and protection. So amethyst typically associated with the, the third eye chakra, um, just kind of looping all these elements. Clear quartz generally associated with the crown, but you can really use any of these stones in so many different ways. A lot about, um, a big, uh, an important thing about crystal work is how much um, it has to do with your intention. So why don't we jump right in? This will be a pretty short meditation. Find a comfortable seat, maybe you're lying down. Maybe there's a pose that you want to receive this meditation in, a yoga pose. Maybe you just put this on while you're taking care of your kids or, um, or laying, out, laying out somewhere or whatever. Let this be a, be a guide to you to help you tap into what you might be, uh, be being called to do, what your action might be. So beginning, if you can, let your eyes close. Start to focus in your internal vision up to your third eye. So up and between the eyebrows and the center of the skull, a couple inches in. Slow your breath down. Use each exhale to really sink and land in the body, but also in the energetic field. So you're tuning into your sensations up in this space, up and between the eyebrows. What might you be feeling physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually in the third eye energy field? What sounds, smells, tastes, colors might be presenting themselves to you here? yourself to open to the potential of an energetic connection in the chakra by really surrendering inward. Let go for an, a couple moments here, a couple minutes, let yourself kind of fade um, from any requirements, anything you have to do or anything you are just involved in, let yourself show up for you here right now, right in the present. your inner strength, your inner light to shine through from within, from the earth, from your seat, all the way up to the crown of your head, sitting tall or laying long, breathing in this ability that we have to grow. And when you truly surrender yourself, 
the support and the protection that you're able to open yourself up to. You can imagine maybe a bubble around your physical outline. You might imagine or, or sense the feeling of someone you love close by, in heart or maybe in body, surrounding you with their arms. Keeping this connection in the third eye, start to draft your awareness and maybe even place a hand on your upper belly. So below the ribs, but above the navel, right above the navel, place, a, place one of your palms. Tapping into this energy of light and happiness. Our capacity for abundance and emotional balance. Allow this center to create space for you to shift focus to everything that is going right in your life, even if it's just as simple as, you know, I woke up today, or, you know, I found this video and I'm making time for myself to, to plug in and tune out of, of any distractions, any requirements of me right now. Shift focus to the positive, let this sun, this fire energy really fill up the body, eventually blurring the line, blurring that connection and, and integrating between third eye and solar plexus. So the sun energy really informs the light energy, the intuitive energy of your third eye and the, the strength and spiritual growth and protection of your third eye informs and supports the fire, the call to action for your upper belly. Take a few breaths to exchange energy between your upper belly and your forehead. last couple moments here, bringing to mind an intention of action. So something in your life, in your space, in your world that you have been meaning to do or wanting to do or not quite sure how to jump onto, I want to encourage you here to just do it. All the nagging, all of the haranguing, all of the criticism, all the feedback and the noise and the distortion in our minds and in the consciousness, the collective consciousness, all the energy that keeps us from, from just going for something, whether it's baking a pie, helping out a neighbor, creating art if you haven't done that in a long time, picking up your guitar, doing some yoga, practicing headstand, you know, whatever it is, something out there, calling someone that you haven't talked to in years, you know, that little spark, that little call to action, I want you to bring something into your mind, into your solar plexus here that you can seal into your intention to do today. One thing, it can be super small, it can be very small. Surrounding that intention with your breath, your third eye strength, and then this, this quartz, this divine quartz energy of clarity and focus. Let your breath in this present moment focus you in on that intention, on that one thing, however small, however tiny it might seem. You're being called to do it and it's important. It's pivotal. It's necessary that you follow through today. This one thing Breathe with me, finding your exhale, your next exhale all the way out. Your next inhale, big and full. Let the exhale fall.
One more breath with yourself, with this collective energy of the crystals and the bowls and our spirits all hoisting this vibration up. And so it shall be, or something even better. From my heart to yours, thank you so much. Namaste. Check back in.